First one here is a fishing lure. Now I've painted this one with some silver or spray paint, but uh, it's all printed in one piece. And as you can see here, it, uh, it's able to go back and forth as it hinges. And in the water, this just has a ton of action. So just an all around neat little fishing lure. This is another cool one, some gears here. Um, they mesh very well and uh, they do an excellent job of not binding. So if you're looking into making gears, the 3D printer is an excellent option for that. This is a cool device. It's uh, actually two parts. You put your shot back in here and uh, push it in there. You uh, then put a ring here that locks this in. But uh, the way that it works is you use a drill bit to drill into this hole. So if you're draw drilling into the drywall, you can drill holes and it catches all of the dust from that drywall. Now you need to put a gasket on here so uh, it, it makes a nice connection. But with that gasket on, it should just go ahead and stick to the wall with the vacuum on. So. Very neat invention, and uh, you can find that in Thingiverse. Probably the best thing that you can use a 3D printer for is uh, if you've got little kids, it works awesome for toys, and I'll show you these. This one I, uh, I printed, and it's a little half track here, and the machine gun, it was fixed in one position so it couldn't move, it was like that. Well, I, I cut it off, and uh, I made this one and made a little extension here so we could put it in a hole. This way it can swivel back and forth, and uh, I measured it out with Tinkercad and uh, kind of redesigned it so it would hold a, uh, a Lego guy. You could actually put a few in here, but uh, overall the print quality of that came out really nice and uh, yeah, my son really enjoys that one. Here's another one. This is a, an army truck and uh, the print quality on this one came out great too. A little thing on this, I did redesign it in Tinkercad. Uh, it only went in about that far into the back, so my son wanted to be able to carry stuff in there. He's got a little crate here he could put guns or whatever in. but. Uh, this now, I opened that up, so it's got quite a bit of room in the back. So, again, uh, great for kids if uh, you want to do stuff like that. We've made lots of little Lego guns and all kinds of other little Lego guys and stuff. So, definitely a, uh, a kid-friendly toy. Uh, you set the print, and overnight, the next day, you've got a nice little toy. Right before the Maker Knife came out, I wanted to print something just for a razor blade, just kind of try to make my own. I came up with this design. I just made a, a circle here in the back. I used Tinkercad to design it. And uh, I designed this little piece so it would actually just kind of clip on, but uh, I ended up gluing it. It's a little janky, but uh, until I got my maker knife, this was what I used for a while, but I don't use it anymore. But uh, anyway, just a proof of concept that you can make something that uh, could help you out in everyday use. Next here is a I Make Missouri license plate that uh, I've turned into a belt buckle. Slip your uh, belt through here and uh, it's actually kind of uncomfortable to wear, so I don't ever wear it, but uh, it was just kind of a, an idea to try. Now you notice here on the back, this is what a, a printed uh, 3D part usually looks like, but on this side you'll notice that it's really smooth. And that's because I tried something new, and this is called ironing. Um, you can use it in Cura, just do a search for ironing when you're in Cura, and uh, I set the settings to there. It has about 10 or 15 more minutes, but it gives it a really nice smooth finish. And uh, I don't know, I might try more projects with the ironing. Here I've got a, uh, a pretty cool thing that allows me to stick my phone in there. And when I put my phone into a stand, it uh, redirects the, the sound or music towards me. So um, just something I created in Tinkercad. And uh, overall, it works pretty good. Um, but uh, I did put my name into it. Inside Tinkercad, you can actually put words in there. and. Well, I went ahead and put my name in there. So anyway, that uh, worked pretty good and it was fun to design. Here's something that uh, I do enjoy and it's a double A battery holder. I actually uh, broke it off. Uh, so I redesigned it uh, with these little tabs that I cut out. It's actually from these little pieces. I, uh, I cut them and uh, kind of melted them back in. So now it stops the batteries from falling out. If I don't have it, they want to plop out. But um, This actually took quite a few hours to print. But uh, it's pretty ingenious, and I was going to make one myself, but uh, you just drop the battery in, and uh, it keeps going. So overall, uh, definitely a very nice print, and something that uh, I suggest everyone make is some kind of battery holder. On to some, uh, some holders, and this is my SOG uh, pliers. If you have the same exact one, if you go to Thingiverse, you can find this, and it's a belt clip. And whoever designed it did an excellent job. You can hear how nicely it slides in. And it does an excellent job in holding it. It doesn't want to fall out on you. But uh, overall, uh, it's very nice. It didn't take too long to print. I printed this one. I think this is my very first print. This is in PLA. 
But um, overall, the quality of the 3D printer did an excellent job in printing this. Very impressed with it and uh, worn it multiple times and it has not broke on me. So uh, check that out. While we're on the topic of um, holders, here's another one. This is uh, for the Maker Knife. I designed this one in Tinkercad and uh, I used the, uh, the design of this one to get the belt loop. So you'll notice the belt loop's the same. But everything else from there on, I had to kind of design on my own. And uh, on this one, I've been doing some prototyping, but trying to get an extra razor blade in there. So if I can make a little holder for an extra razor blade, that might be kind of cool. So still prototyping that, but uh, I don't know. I've got Jocko's logo there. This one uh, did have a little bit of ironing on it. The logo needs to be raised, but uh, the back here, I did write my name. didn't come out real clean, but um, anyway, the, the ironing effect again. So it kind of looks a little different, but uh, overall, nice little belt clip. Here we've got uh, something I, I'm using for production, so I'll explain it to you real quick. I've got these little baggies and I need to put a bunch of little nuts and bolts in them. And uh, it's kind of hard to hold the bag open and then count out about 30 little nuts and bolts. So I designed this thing. Basically it's just a funnel that I've created in Tinkercad and designed here. It goes inside the bag like this and then I take this base piece and push it on there and now it holds it. So I can set it down count out my nuts and bolts and then when I get done and it's full I can just pull it off and then seal it and now I can throw it into its package and it gets shipped out so uh, using a 3d printer to make uh, prototype stuff is really pretty amazing so I, I definitely enjoy that another thing here in regards to doing production work um, I've got this piece here let's take a look at that and the way this works is is I make something called a bit duster and it just blows the air off of a CNC, off of a bob CNC. Um, this is the base piece for it and what I'm doing is, is I'm sticking it in here so I can get the alignment of the, all these little pieces to be always straight. Um, I was having to do this by hand so I've designed this so of course I would glue all these things together, let this set overnight and then when I pull it out I'll have a, a perfect little uh, square here. and. Uh, to get the front plate on these, I designed this so I can just slide this now into there and that front plate will always be straight as well. So um, again, these are very nice uh, pieces for doing prototyping and making sure that your production work looks really nice. Again with another production thing, I've created these tools and you can see the design here. Again, all this was in Tinkercad. Um, these tools work great for this. It's another product that I sell. It's an emergency stop and go button. But putting these buttons on, well, that's sometimes uh, a little hard on the hands. So if I take this off, you'll notice that I have to put this ring on. And i got to put it on fairly tight so it doesn't slip. Well, you can take this and you can turn it and tighten it down. So uh, these little things are awesome for putting buttons on. So I've made a few of those. While we're on the topic of uh, production stuff, I'll show you another one that I've got. This is a little tiny box. You'll see the two pins and an LED. Inside here I've got a battery and some wires that run to that. I can test these buttons to make sure that it properly works before I send it out. So here I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll put these on the pins, push the button, and the light comes on. So that means that these wires are actually good. The solder job and the wires, they all have good connection underneath here. So that one's safe to ship out. Now these triangles are awesome in regards to painting or staining. You can uh, lay out a few of them here and lay a board across them, let them dry. And these points are extremely sharp, so there's very little surface that it's touching. But uh, Some more cool things here are these rings. And these are just cable ties. And the way that they work, I'll show you here. I'll show you on this big one. Take those off, and you wrap it around a cable, and then you twist it, and now it locks the cable in so you can wind up your cords and stuff and put that in there. To release it, you just take it back and then it comes off. So, very cool design. You can get that on Thingiverse. I have a pen holder here, pen or pencil. This is, again, something I found off of Thingiverse. And uh, it works very well. It only holds three, of course, but uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of room on your desk. And uh, it's pretty nice to be able to grab a pen or pencil out of here and uh, do something and put it back. So, um, very cool design. This I make sign, this is a sign that Jimmy Duresta made. Uh, there was someone who uploaded it on Thingiverse, and it was just a flat design. And I redesigned it in Tinkercad and raised it and made it thicker, and then made this base so it could hold a phone. So I'll show you now. 
I can actually hold a phone on it. And uh, it does an excellent job of that. So if you guys wish to get this thing, just a phone holder, uh, you can find that on Thingiverse. Just look me up on um, Thingiverse under Wooden Creations and you guys can print your own as well. So another thing here that uh, with your Creality Ender 3 that you'll find that you need is some kind of tool holder. And you can see by this one, it holds pretty much all the tools that came with it. Uh, I don't think there's anything that it wasn't able to hold. But uh, I leave that near it. Uh, you don't really seem to have to do too much work on your Creality Ender 3, but it is nice that all these parts now have a home. And if you did need to do something, it's really quick to grab from there. Was this. Um, I got onto Thingiverse, found something similar to this, and then kind of took it apart, made a base. And uh, I've got a light under here, so it's a USB light. So when I'm working my desk, I can tap the top of this and the lights come on. So um, again, just something that's kind of nice to have. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to get out there and take apart someone else's. And uh, it's called remixing is what people call it on uh, Thingiverse. So don't be afraid to take something and make it better or make it your own. And then, and then just list it as a remix and uh, tag the person in it and mention their name. So um, that's something that uh, they encourage. I think that is about all that I've got on my 3D printed parts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it gave you some inspiration to go out and try some things. And if you want, uh, look me up on Wooden Creations under Thingiverse, and I do have some things out there that you guys can print out. And, uh, but uh, thank you guys, and uh, enjoy your Creality Ender 3 if you purchase one. And if not, enjoy uh, a 3D printer in general, because they're a lot of fun. This, this is Ricky. He's your husband's best friend. He drinks all your beer and shows up unannounced to watch the football game. Oh, woo! <laughs> Bear me, man. I'm almost halfway through this one. <laughs> hey, woo! <laughs> woo, -hoo -hoo -hoo! two under age. <laughs> woo! -hoo! There they go again. <laughs> when it comes to bathroom manners, Ricky's lacking in this department. Dumb dog, bring me another beer. <laughs> I clean up an all four. <laughs> Introducing my all new product, AimWiz, a laser guidance system allowing your man to hit his mark. Man, I don't know. Ricky doesn't do weird stuff like this, but uh, man, for you, anything, it's like I'm doing a PowerPoint in the bathroom or something, you know? Woo! Dude, your dog's so dumb, doesn't even know that the AimWiz is right here. He thinks it's on the carpet. How dumb is this dog? <laughs> <laughs> to help your man understand his mistakes, we've inserted the buzzer from the game operation into every aim whiz. Oh, how do you get this thing on, man? <laughs> Whoa! Look, I am your father! <laughs> oh. Whoop! Uh. Uh, uh. Oops, Daisy! <laughs> oh! <laughs> AimWiz, the next step in bathroom etiquette, not advised for people who own dogs. Ah, that's it. <laughs> it's water in a jug. It was stale. It's a laser guided urinal tracking system. I don't know what it's called. Introducing my all new AimWiz. It's a laser guided urinal tracking system for your man's hoo ha, so it makes sure it goes in the toilet. <coughs> tracking system guided by laser to make sure that all the urine goes in the toilet and on to your man's woohoo. Who loves their Uncle Ricky? <coughs>